Hey guys, welcome back to John's Watch. Today I'm taking a look at a very early beta of a game called Classroom Aquatic. Uh, right now it is being kickstarted on Kickstarter. It's fairly close to its goal. There's only a couple of days left, so go check it out if you like the look of the game. Uh, it is the world's first underwater stealth slash trivia cheat em up. It looks very good. I've played it a bit. Um, Nalzi actually introduced it to me, Nalzi from the Yorkscast. He called me up, he said, hey, hey Johnny boy, uh, have, you, have, you, have you taken a look at this game? It's called Classroom Aquatic, You're, you get to be a dolphin, you cheat. I said, no, Nazi, I haven't actually seen that. Um, I'll, I'll, do, I'll do a quick vid on it, thanks, thanks for, thanks for sho shoving me in that direction. And then of course he went ahead and made his video, and uh, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, none of that's true, of course, I've never talked to Nazi. Uh, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, so basically, here we are, it's, it's it's blurry right now because we haven't started the game, so if we look down at our desk, Classroom Aquatic, press A to begin. I'm using my uh, my gamepad, because it's got gamepad support, and why not? So, how to play, I'll just go through it quickly. So you cycle through your questions with triggers or bumpers, I think it might be the bumpers. Uh, you lean with the left stick, uh, you select the answer with the D-pad actually with mine. Throw eraser with X, fill in the answer with A. It's pretty easy. You have to avoid the teacher and the student's gaze. You have to look at other students' papers to get the answers. And you can throw an eraser at people and things to cause distractions. And ace the test in time. So if we go ahead and click start, pop quiz. See everything's cleared up nicely. Let's do a little bit of leaning here. You can lean pretty well. Ooh. So she's put up, the teacher's put up our three strikes on the board. Okay class, I hope you're all prepared. We're all going to have a little quiz. Oh great. Nothing to stress about, it's just to make sure you're caught up on the readings. Just a ten minute, qu ten question quiz, so you should be able to finish it in five minutes. I don't want any cheating, you know who you are. She looked right at me. Can you believe that? Alright. So it's just going to be a, a quick, easy quiz, not a problem. In Marcel Proust's In Search of Lost Time, who did Charles Swan ma marry? Oh. Well, shit me. Um. I don't know this at all. Oh god. Well, this guy does. Oh, he says it's he says B. Odette. Oh, fantastic. Oh yeah. So something really cool <laughs> that I learned is if you just hold like the the right. Let him go past her. If you just hold the right uh, <laughs> the right thingy, what is it? The right stick. You can just like lean all the way back. This doesn't count as cheating, apparently. You can just kind of lean away. <laughs> Oh, right, so you got a question. Painting below. Da, da, da. So the painting is D. Oop. We'll cycle through here quickly. Try and find D. There we go. D. So right now there's not a huge amount of questions, so you'll see most of them again. And that's the only criticism I have with this game, is after you've played it a couple of times, you'll start actually knowing the answers. But... Oh no, I'll give you an example. So I've seen this one several times. And because the answers are so obscure, I don't actually know what the proper answer is. Which is probably pretty good. Alright, so over here, which of these languages is D? Alright, so we'll cycle through for which of these languages. There we go. Um, like I said, you can actually throw in a race with X, so if we'll just toss it there. Ooh. You're not going to go check that out? What the fuck? Ooh, I was going to throw one. So you can see we've got six here. What's wrong? Jesus. Uh, we'll let him go past. Oh, we'll just have a... What are you doing here? Oh, I've done that one, you sh bastard. Oh, is... You're not going to stop, are you? Shit. How am I going to answer anything? Oh, the frog one is A. Okay, so we'll cycle through again. Here we go. Xanthism. And because you're usually like focused on which letter it is, uh, you don't actually pay attention to what the, the real answer is. What's this? Something eponymous equation is A. Something something eponymous equation. There we go, A. Average gestation period for a sperm whale is some days. Alright, let's uh, Oh shit, I think they probably saw us when we did that. Ah, oh, fuck. Hey, hey, how's it going? I did not. That is uh, accusations. And then you get frozen uh, while they mark you for like a strike on the board. Oh dear. Looks like we don't have too much time left, so we're going to have to stop mucking around. 
The Stratovolcano is D, apparently. Stratovolcano is D. Snuffless Confrupra. <laughs> right, let's have a little peek around here. Oh. Are you still in that one, you bastard? Okay, let's have a little peek. Are you still in that one? Yes, jeez. Come on, guys, I need, to, I need to answer this question. The average gestation period is... Oh, fuck. Hey. It wasn't A or C. So... It's gotta be D. Okay, there we go, D. Something we're once ponderously named after the physicist Wilhelm Röntgen. What you got over here, eh? No, I can't quite see it. What are you on here? Oh, I've done that one as well. Um, things are looking mighty dire. Mighty dire. Alright, what are you on here? Which of these languages? God damn you! Wap. Hopefully that doesn't count. Oh come on, you cannot have seen that. That is ridiculous. That's bullshit. That's bullshit, lady. Ma'am. Sir. Sir, ma'am. Oh my god, the time is running out. Um, normally, you can actually complete it, because I'm trying to talk at the same time. Something... X-rays. It was X-rays, yes! Uh... James Franco was the last one he was on the name of Chicago. Oh god, I don't know. In the no, um no. What's this? In James. Oh it was D. Okay. Quick we'll, we'll do D. Um done that one. Done that one. I think we just, we've done that one. Done that one. Period after the order of I do actually know this one, it's Silurian, so we're gonna I think I think we've got everything. Time is running out. We've got every question though. So we'll go submit our answers. Yes! We did it! <laughs> we had five seconds left. Holy crap. If you get anything less than 10, 10, uh, 10 score, then you actually um, fail. Uh, which is very sad. But I got 10 out of 10. I did it in five minutes. It's very cool. I think it's only $15 to uh, back it and get a digital copy of the game. Um, but there's there's all kinds of rewards. I think at 100 and something you can actually like write a question for the game, which is awesome. Uh, so it's it's a very fun game. You can actually download the demo for free. It's going to have Oculus Rift uh, support. It, it actually already does have Oculus Rift support, uh, but it's not required obviously as I'm just using this. I better be very fun with Oculus Rift though. Uh, so go check it out. It's called Clash from Aquatic. You can vote for it on Greenlight. You can go check it out on Kickstarter. You can go to their website. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!